years in a row. That northward push keeping things really dicey at this moment as we look at Hurricane Dorian. Still a Category 4 at this point. We know from this satellite that we've got several gravity waves as well as rain bands that are already impacting the Bahamas. As this storm system moves over the Bahamas with the hurricane, it will lessen but then refuel very quickly with that warm water right there in the Atlantic. The cone of uncertainty keeps things interesting. It keeps it a Category 4, but really, really unsure at this point where this hurricane will make landfall as it moves up the coast, that turn is going to really be the key player in what happens with that damaging storm surge, those crazy winds. A Category 4 is 130 mile per hour to 156 mile per hour winds. That's a lot, folks. I mean, dangerous, dangerous conditions. Now, a little closer to home, we're dealing with some record heat and quieter patterns. We take a look at our Colonial Flag time lapse video. At Salt Lake City, we've got blue skies. Notice the flag whipping around there, and we're going to continue to see winds an issue as we get through our Labor Day weekend. They weren't bad today, just a light breeze. We're going to amp that up as we head into our Sunday. And because of that, that red flag warning is going up for the Wasatch Mountains. But we see this time lapse video kind of keeping things pretty quiet with clearer skies. We'll continue to see that just some cloud cover that moves overhead. We also had a gorgeous shot of the sunset. If you managed to catch that today, we saw absolutely stunning colors after this lapse as we got into the evening hours. Meg Roberts sent us this photo so beautiful. Beautiful. Can't help but absolutely love that shot. We'll always take your pictures. It's weather at ABC4.com. Thanks, Meg. We appreciate it. Our satellite shows us what's going on. We've got this high pressure that we keep our eye on with its clockwise flow. This is going to drift to the northeast. As it does, it kind of sets up shop to allow for monsoonal moisture to move back in. It's been a couple of weeks where we've just been dealing with that ridge of high pressure. But as we get into tomorrow, we're going to push that high pressure out of the way. And here comes some moisture, which is going to be interesting. We start to see it on Monday and into Tuesday. The temperatures right now 60s, 70s and 80s. That's gorgeous. If you don't like that on a Saturday night, tough stuff because we are not going to see it for long. We actually are cooling off in the evening 73 in Price, 74 in Cedar City, low 90s in St. George. As we head into tomorrow, that heat will maintain in the north. Record breaking heat. We're going to make a run for 100 and with tomorrow being the first day of September, if we make it, there's only two other days that hit 100 in September. So that is going to be a record for the books. But notice how those showers start to make their way back back into the central and southern portion of the state. That monsoonal moisture makes its presence known. The future cast shows us that weather models want to bring that in late Monday into southern Utah and then watch this right there into central Utah. So Provo getting in on the action. Also seeing the Uinta Basin tapping into this early Tuesday morning. So we're going to see those showers bringing lightning and at times really gusty conditions. 100 in Salt Lake City, 90s across the board on the Wasatch Front, 105 in St. George, triple digits down south sizzling for Labor Day. I mean, you wanted the heat. We wanted the summer. It's not going anywhere for the next little bit. We see those triple digits into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We get some cooler conditions thanks to that monsoonal moisture bringing in thunderstorm activity. Here's a check of the Wasatch Front. 100 degrees, the century mark. Get ready. It's going to feel hot. You might be over it, but you don't have a choice. So we'll see those triple digits sticking around 98. And I put the records there so you know how close it is for daily records. Tomorrow, if we get above 98, we will hit that record, which is a big deal. Notice we cool off steadily as we get later into the week. Those temperatures falling into the 90s and even some 80s with the threat of thunderstorms. Uh, 89 is the daytime high average for this time of year. And we see that continue to dropping into the 80s. We just haven't felt the 80s. It's been the 90s, Nick. It has been the 90s. You also